I didn't just go to camp. I did camp. <laughs> I, I did it all. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm a red banana. A red banana. And this here is Frank. Um, and quite frankly, <laughs> I've missed him. I've been gone. You have. I missed a lot. How was your 4th of July, first of all? Um, I went to the um, 4th of July parade. Oh, you went to 4th of July parade? Yes. Nice. It was It was really great um, for people outside of America yeah. who don't know. In our Happy Birthday America celebration parades, other cultures march in the parade. There was, in our parade, there was Asian and... Um, to celebrate the mixing pot that Hispanic, is America? Yeah. yeah, it's... Yeah, it's um, they, and we also had people like, not just from out of the country. Well, I don't, these people were out of the country, but they had from out of town marching bands and stuff like oh, that. Oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Yeah. I'm pretty sure from what I've read, the longest running 4th of July parade is the one I went to in Glenside, really? Pennsylvania. Really? Longer yeah. than Philadelphia? It said, the, it said the longest running 4th of July parade. I could see that. Glenside is like one of those old places that like. Did Civil War stuff, I think, maybe. Maybe the people of Philadelphia went there to watch the parade. Maybe. <laughs> um, I went down the shore, um, which is something a lot of people do. I've never done it. What? You were little, you did it. Did I? Yeah. Okay, well, I've never done I'm it. I'm talking little, little, little. In memory. Yeah. But let me tell you, um, it didn't, maybe I didn't do, the, do it right. Oh. It was great. I had an amazing yeah. time. The whole time it was, oh, I forgot it was 4th of July. Like, it, it's like. Because I think the beach always has, besides the fireworks, yeah. you know, nicks the fireworks out of the, the situation. It's like, people are out. Let's eat burgers. Let's get together. Let's have fun in the sun. Or all things that are already associated with the beach. Okay. And so when that happens at, in like a Glenside, for example, it's right. like, we're all celebrating 4th of July. Right. So, but it was, it also, it was nice though with the uh, the beach fireworks. Gotta love some beach fireworks. You're lucky you had good weather because if it's if it's rainy, they cancel them. Great weather. Great. Uh, that that was Fourth of July, um, but you. I've been gone. I've been yeah, gone. Yeah, you've been gone. Um, thanks to modern day technology and photoshopping and um, real fakes, <laughs> you have not missed any podcasts. But I've been gone for uh, ten days. Yes. Yeah, ten days, right from before the. I was down the shore. I was at camp. You were at camp. I was at camp. You were a camper for the first time. I was a camper for the first time. Um, so why don't we just talk about that? Okay. So I went to a, or I signed up to be a counselor for a camp called Camp No Worries. Camp No Worries. Love it. Love it. Live it, love it, learn <laughs> it. And so what Camp No Worries is, is a children's camp for Kids and siblings of kids who have cancer. Oh, okay. And um, the idea of Camp No Worries, hence the name, is not to, you know, let's talk about cancer, which there was, you know, a little yeah. recognition. It was to not be feel like you are the one person in school who's going through right. this. It's, you can just be normal, just be a kid, canoe around, have a ball. It's a, I can swim canoe. No, I can't. <laughs> Neither can I. I'm surprised. I, I'm surprised I made it through camp. Oh my god! I brought my life jacket, but um, that's great. Yeah. Um, and and uh, it's great in theory, but was it great in practice? Oh, it was even better in practice. Was it? So I've I've like I said, I've zero camp experience. Yeah, I know. And um, zero children experience. <laughs> yeah. But it was it was a perfect camp. It was very cliche camp. Okay. You know, canoeing and yeah, the classic, arts and crafts. What you would expect. Um. Doing the gimp ropes and um, what's a gimp rope? You remember that? Because I've like, never been to camp either. Yeah, but we I've done this outside of camp at school. It's like these like little plastic hard pieces, and you always have to get like the, oh, the like one person like, to start the friendship it. Bracelet? No. And then you like well, there was friendship bracelets. No, this is like the one where you weave and pull and weave and pull. Okay, okay. You'll see a photo of it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it was a very cliche camp. Um. I got stuck with the young boys. Aww. So that's the eight. There's three age groups, youngs, middle, olds. Um, They're the six to nine year olds. And it couldn't go younger. Couldn't go younger. Okay. That's, uh, that's as little as it gets. And I'm glad it couldn't go younger. 
Uh, they were a handful, but <laughs> they were great. I, I, I have no zero experience with kids. Way to go, Camp No Worries. Trust me. Oh, my no. gosh. I have zero experience with the kids, but um, it ended up being a blast. Mm-hmm. Um, I did really well with the children. A lot of the higher-ups, the oncology nurses and stuff said, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing the wrong thing. No. I should be do- working with children. Really? And I said, I'm doing Crook and Crow. Um, I work with God's children. But besides that, this, besides this, how do you, like, did it change your ideas or are you like... No. On? On working with kids. It did change my ideas yeah. a little bit. And um, not to get biblical too quick. Okay. <laughs> but don't laugh at that. I was, biblical I was, too quick I like it. <laughs> we, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we're hypocrites. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's the wrong word. But um, I think it's easy um, to talk about things. And understand them as fact, but not apply. You know, it's a look look at like eating your veggies, right? Like it's like, you know, eating your veggies is good and you can promote it. Right. Doesn't mean you're eating your veggies at home. It also doesn't mean you're a hypocrite because you're you're not saying anyone's bad. It doesn't. Right. You're saying, yeah, I know it is. I'm just like, I I, I would if it was there. And I think we always talk about, um, you know, how how god sees children mm-hmm. and it's like he puts them on a pedestal oh yeah and never ever deal with children and i think when you do especially in like a circumstance such as this you really do see that why god puts like the innocence and okay and uh further than innocence because like i think also you might make it sound too good yeah. of kids because they are a lot of work and stuff but and even within themselves right they're not they're like everyone's like oh to be a kid again but like they they get frustrated and yes. sad and aggravated themselves yeah it's, yeah it, and, it's hard to be a little kid <laughs> exactly but it, it's like you definitely see these parallels of of the importance of learning and understanding kids and dealing with them because um even in the bad it's like there's this like malleability yeah where it's like you can lead them the right way right and then one in the one week of camp you know we're able to like do some corrective behavior and stuff. Okay. Um, where like in adults, you don't see it as much. It's like, right. and and so kids are great. They're like, you, you, they're cute and highs, highs, but fixable lows. Right. And then there's also, it was a cancer camp and there was different kids going through different things. And there was never like, even if there was, you know, misspeaking of like, oh, you're not supposed to say that. Right. There was never like any true judgment. Like we had one kid who didn't have use of his arm. Okay. And um, the other kids never once treated him any wow. differently. And that's so nice. Obviously, you'll get kids who do that, but it's not yeah. the same as that. those hidden biases we see in right, adults. Right, right. So, yeah, it definitely changed my view on how I view kids. Okay. And um, who knows? Maybe I'll be the next. Oh, that's what I want to say. Um. So this is the other thing. Do I want to work with kids? Who knows? Maybe. More than that, back to spiritual, we also always bring up um, we always bring up uh, Mr. Rogers. Yes. And for me, we, we always talk about it was nice because he was a pastor, but he just did these things for right, kids. Right. And I've never been to Bible camp. Right. Um, but... I am just going to go off like no, I, I, this is my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. Like this camp felt more oh, godly, okay, than a Bible camp even would. Right. And, and before you you, you know, jump on me for that, it's not about you know that I'm putting Bible camp down. I've never been. I can't speak for it. It's just that the same way with Mister Rogers is there was so much love and Assistance, inc- inclusion, yeah, inclusion, and yeah zero judgments on on you know faith race or creed right. it like and they, so it was all these biblical principles that you could really just feel god right in this without ever you know reading a, like, d- like stopping to do bible study right or let's sing hallelujah yeah yet it was it was so much like that and it almost brought more people in right like right and one this was still a niche group but i definitely like, felt that a lot where i'm wow. like wow if this it's we always talk about this but it's like that's sort of more of the direction that i would want to promote christianity okay which is 
a Christian person doing these good things right. rather than it just being, all right, send your kids to Bible camp and I will, I will send them back. They'll come back and They'll know come the back commandments. And, and, and know yeah. the books in order. Right. I would rather they come back and, and they had a, a, a good, charitable, loving week. Right. Um, Were any children actually religious Did that you noticed? Like, n- no. There was no, like, dietary restrictions or anybody had to do anything on Saturday or Sunday? Or- no. Um, and once again, I, I think I... So I, when I got the littles, littles. And no, there was no orthodox religious kids that were okay. doing specific practices. But with that said, there was cancer talk. And I will equate this in a moment, but it's like, so we had like two, we had like one lunch that was for all of the, the campers who passed away in years previous. Okay. And it was just like, you know, moments of reflection and stuff. And then there was another one about like, just sort of talking about siblings dealing with, with cancer and a lot of tears shed by the olders and stuff. Okay. And the point I'm trying to make here is I had very little kids, a lot half of which were siblings the other half were in active treatment okay you know a few that were you know recovered but it was a a lot of it was going over their head like they were they were in camp mode gotcha and i think back to my bible camp analogy is especially when you're dealing with these kids it's like the same thing is with religion you can you can have a kid say prayers every day and the same way you can tell me is cancer every day it's, it's okay now like can we play but Right. If instead you're promoting everything about loving right. the other ca- uh, campers and you know being good and, and loving the idea of love, right? That is is what you know makes them glow and stuff. And I, I think it's interesting, right? Because back to Jesus loving children, mm-hmm. why didn't Jesus love the? You, you can't really you can't really give children these huge concepts. No. So why did he not love the the scholars of, of, of right i mean he did he did he <laughs> loved everyone why did he not put them on that or tell us pedestal? to emulate them yeah. yeah it's like look at these people who are the smartest or the most what you want to achieve. dedicated to yeah. faith it was chill but you can't explain all these you can't even read the entire bible to children it's no. like yeah but you know what you can do and, and actually it might be easier is getting the message from the bible right and having them live it right um now you said that they just want it to act normal and um they just want it, the camp experience that that other kids have, or maybe they've heard of or saw. Did they, or was it so accommodating that you made it uh, appear to them that they were doing stuff? That, or was it like pretty, pretty much um, they were doing, they were that as active as a camper would be? Yeah, no, they were, they were good. Like okay. the children are children. Um, you know, I didn't I, know if you were like, you know what I'm just trying to say? Like, if you were trying to make it appear like, oh, wow, like, look. You're just as normal as the other kids. Well, not in words, but like. Yeah. Like, pretending, like, th- like throwing the ball and be like, look, you threw it. Like, Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no. No. I mean, that, that's no. the thing. Like, obviously, there were some kids who, like, needed, like, walkers and stuff. But yeah. for the majority, like, that was actually sort of a no-no. Like, back to, okay. the, back to the one kid with the, um, the brace in his arm. And the other children just did this automatically. Where when we were like swimming and stuff, it was, he said he knew how to swim. You know, like obviously we would get him a life jacket or something if he didn't, but he wanted to do the swim test. Okay. Cheer him on. And never once did he bring up his arm in a, in a sling cast. Okay. And it was like, and the funny thing, we had one problem where like we had these nasty lifeguards. They like came in halfway, weren't really? affiliated with the camp. Really? And like the one guy was like, um, you know, he was like, you know, be careful. Uh, you're swimming with one arm. And it was like. Yeah, it was like you know you might get tired quicker. Oh. He he meant it in good faith. Yeah, right. He just that was the point. It it right. was that like they're normal children. Let them be normal. Like Let, yeah. And we, hey, we are all got this job to watch out for if he doesn't. If like, he did, it's exactly. to, it's to, Let him push himself and see where he goes. We're we're, yeah. we're facilitating a place to make there be no. Just remember, you, you're you're sep- you you're separate. Yeah, yeah. Just remember, yeah, you you have it harder than everyone else. It's like right. It, it's supposed to be that like carefree of like, oh, I didn't even notice. But yeah, no, they were all and, it, and that was part of it because I think part of the camp and what made it grow so much is these kids do get that all the time. Of they're in 
They're in hospitals. Yeah. Surrounded by friends and family um, who are treating them like very weak kids. Right. Um, where it's like, don't, don't, like, oh, don't give them too much. And it's like, imagine that from a kid's eyes. And it's like, right. all he wants to do is play in dirt. Right. And so. I, I saw this cute little video and um, it's a mom and, he, and her, she has her son at like a water park and he's a little, little guy and yeah. he's coming down the slide and like the caption was like that his foot had been amputated. Like, I don't know how much lo- further ago, yeah. long ago. And it was the first time he noticed he didn't have a foot. Oh, really? And he like looks down and, he, and he's like looking. And he's like, where's my foot? You know, and he's like totally yeah. like, just like this. But she's like, I can't believe that he's only noticing it now. You know, Yeah. they just will adapt. And, and um, yeah. And by the way, just to go back to your earlier point of where we there was so many people on the staff of like oncology and nurses and yeah. stuff that were like at the ready to do any. It wasn't just like. Ah, well, this seems like it's working out fine. No, <laughs> it was very no. protected of right. of what's happening. But right, so you had that confidence that you could have a normal canoe. That's ride the whole a point. Normal, it's like yeah, okay. let's do yeah, like two hundred percent effort of the behind the scenes. Yeah. to make a normal camp in abnormal circumstances. Right, right. So you guys like. You knew you had these professionals on on staff. You knew you were all working together, and you knew you weren't doing anything actually crazy. You weren't taking them up to Mount Everest or anything. Yeah. Um, but because of that, you you probably were able to give them such a good time because the people who live with them, their parents, and and you know, they're everybody who takes care of them, their babysitters, whatever, are probably so fragile. Like teach yes. treat them so fragilely yeah. more than they need to be treated yeah and um and so when i before i went um that was with like the siblings i'm like why is siblings going i'm like it doesn't make any sense to me they don't have any, any reason to be right but they there can was, go to regular camp there was an entire siblings lunch and it talked about what it means to be a sibling of a survivor okay or a, a, someone in treatment right i'm not gonna go into all of the details of that but it does take a toll and i think that's also the nice part, like sibling, where like the siblings normally have to be the right. the one in the background and stuff. Right. It's not just siblings are there by themselves. It's it's for both both kids. Right. Where they're they're back both being kids on, on a level playing field. On level, yeah. They're, they're canoeing together rather than oh well, you know your brother's in the hospital or right. well you know you know we can't go to canoeing because we have right. to go to the hospital. Right. You're it's right. Like, it's that idea of. Everyone's the same. You look. You're, you're playing with your sibling again, if not just for a week. That is such a great thought. Because yeah. even when you're talking, I'm thinking. I bet a lot. A lot of the relationship between siblings and um, a child in you know a hospital child is comes through the parent. Yeah. So it's like, like you just said, you know, he can't do that, or you can't go with her. Because, yeah. You know, and it's like. It's like uh, sibling to parent to sibling to sibling. And here is like back to because yeah. siblings usually conspire together exactly, and you know, yeah. talk so together it, plan it, together it's like, and it's like you guys were watching to yeah. make sure everything was okay but it, it let them like let's go yeah you know. well, it's just us and then you know it's, it's yeah it's not just the one sibling doesn't have cancer can, can be i want to do that like it, right. it's not because I, I you learn one of the things i guess is like siblings with people who have cancer it's like they have to grow up a lot quicker yeah because it's like they need to take that role of right okay i'm okay with this i'm okay and not just be Sometimes of an annoying little kid that's right. like, well, I want to do this. And, and this it's back to, right. Hey, well, you're just my brother. Yeah, and I'm sure um, a sibling has to minimize things that happen to them, you know, because yeah. you won't be as likely to say like, like, oh, my foot hurts. And it's like, yeah. really? You know, yeah. uh, see, there's, there's probably a lot of stepping aside and stepping back. Like, yeah. I know that he's more important or she's more important at this time. Yeah. So that's great. You made something. You probably made a lot of stuff. You you couldn't find your tie dye. Oh yeah. But did you make that, or someone gave it to you? Uh, this was given to me. It's just a little bracelet with my name on it. Um, so if you do it for multiple years, you get they add on to these beads. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, this camp, how dedicated people are to it. Really? Like the so they give also these necklaces for every three years you do it. Okay. And you'd think there's only a couple every year, right? Yeah. Because it's once a year, but they were given out threes um sixes up to like a, a 18 i think are you serious yeah and, and just with all of it it's just people just keep coming back and right i was one of the you know new ones and you definitely it's like the majority is 
once you do it once, you just keep doing it. Right. But yeah, so this is just my little name, um, little keychain. But that's enough of. Um, no, you were recognized. I, <laughs> that's enough of talking about. Um, oh, <laughs> me doing a, such a good service. Yeah. Now let's talk why? about me being the best person in the world. Oh, I thought you were moving away from it completely. <laughs> Listen, uh, now it's time to. <laughs> You know, we we were saying putting putting kids on the pedestal. Yeah, I'm about to put myself on the pedestals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I didn't just go to camp. I did camp. <laughs> I I did it all. I was awarded. You were awarded. I was awarded rookie counselor of the year. R O T Y. I don't have my um my my sound effects That's thing anymore. All right. That's I all would right. give you cheering because that is. Amazing. Yeah, there was there was like a ton of new people. I got counselor of the year, all right, rookie counselor of the year. Right. And um, it felt good. Let me tell you. I bet. I was very happy, and especially being the first time I did camp. First time, you're not really knowing what you're doing. You had nothing to compare it to because you had never even been a yeah. camper. You had the little guys who are more, need more yeah. attention because the- it was. That's the other thing. So like, I was talking about fun. It's probably the most tiring week of my entire oh life. Oh my gosh. It was very tiring but um but yeah so the very final ceremony um they're going up and they're giving out awards and uh, this was like the one like the last awards they give is and so i got it i was very kids cheer yeah um what was the name of your little group uh we were the lost boys we're gonna gonna make a flag (laughs) um but it was nice and all the counselors did a great job. Yeah, Obviously, I'm not sure. as great as me. Sure. No, no, well, that's not it. And so, like, I kind of got into like a good position. Two things. What I'll give myself credit for, which why not? Yeah. I, I, I had a week of being selfless. I'm gonna pat myself <laughs> on the back. No, because this isn't even being selfless. This is and this was an active decision. Okay. When I got there, I'm like, uh, and also I, I did camp. I feel like I don't know about camps in general, especially this one. It's like it's sort of facilitates this idea of like don't be too cool for school okay you know like do the camp songs right do the dances and and the right the jigs like get up in front of everyone right. and do i'm a little teapot right right when you get called it's like we're all being we're all being dorks here we're all getting into that because it was a very generic camp game, right, a very right, generic right. camp thing so i told myself like the last thing because you, you saw especially with the new counselors yeah there's that like transition thing of like uh, I don't want to do that. I'd right. rather I'll I'll take a back seat. Right. And I'm like I'm just gonna um, give it my all. Oh, that's awesome. And also, so the other counts like a lot of the other counselors, maybe different age groups. Um, they did a lot of stuff. Like how do I, the kids made it, the kids made it easy. The kids made it easier because my little boy group. It was they'll give you back what you give them. Okay. So, like, I, would I've got it if I had the olds of like that, like fourteen to seventeen? Who? Yeah. I don't know, like, because where it's like you're trying to get them motivated. What made the, these the little ones nice is I knew, however much energy I gave, wow, however much you know, of of I did, right? Uh, I sang. It, they would mirror it right back, right? And so I was going off of that the whole time, and oh like my god, getting involved in the activities and stuff. But um, this was the cup you won. Yeah, so I won this cup. <laughs> um, it has a speaker on the bottom. No big deal. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, shout out to all the other counselors because everyone had to put in a lot of work. It was a very tiring week for everyone. But um, it's tiring. It's physically tiring, taxing, and tiring. You were in the woods and it was hot, and you were getting bitten. Yeah. You were, like, and the little kids babysit a kid for four hours, and you're yeah. like, I need. Res- um, but it had to also be a bit mentally more straining than if you were at. Re- you keep saying a generic camp or yeah. average camp because you know it forefront in your mind you never really think of when when you're working with kids or dealing with kids or having kids it's disease is not forefront in your mind oh and so yeah absolutely. it's stressful and, to- and definitely when in some of the like remembrance lunches all of the emotions involved that aren't involved in other camps exactly it is like you have that emotional um that emotional tax on you and also just like you know, anything like that makes you think about your own morality. Right. Which I think is both... Mortality, th- maybe. Morality. Mortality. Morality is like good and bad, but mortality is Mor- Mortality. <laughs> and so it's like where as much as you're trying to help the kids, like you want to help them, but then you also think like about 
just life in general right. and the cycle it of life. It's hard just to be making little letter bracelets and stuff sometimes because it's like it's such a deep thought with yeah. such a fun, you know. Yeah. But and once again, I mean, just good and bads of that is always the same. It, it's it's makes it, it makes you think more than a regular camp does, but it also is a very nice thing in a way where it's like the way they are dealing with such a deep thing is through what community and love and yeah, it's like right is once back to the mr rogers thing like is that not what we are meant to be promoting through christianity is like why was it such a great camp it's like well because it promoted like right then that's what i always say i'm like i always put love as god is love and i always use that as love because it's like it was it, back to that it's it, it was was were we not at that camp doing what you know god instructs us to do right absolutely but it wasn't a god but it wasn't a, a bible right? camp yep. it's like there you go yeah but it, it was a camp that was based around love right god is love it was a camp based around god and it's not my place to get on the soapbox and right and get people right with linguistics it's about to just promote that same thing right and uh i'm yeah. so proud of you thank you i'm so proud of you and i just think uh if you go back it's awesome like you said that people go many many years but if even if you never go back it's always funny to think about your um your your presence in a child's life yeah. however short because you never know how things stick some things stick in them so yeah. don't you can't really tell but like you know I, I could see my own self even being like i remember i had a teacher's yeah. assistant when i was in second grade it was you know for a short period of time whatever yeah. but um just that little time um was so meaningful yeah but you didn't like you just said you didn't try to make it meaningful you and just... I think, exactly and i think that's what i liked so much about it and it's even like i said what made me think about like huh maybe there is something to not maybe follow this exactly but like lean towards something here because it's like doing things like because you when we talk about mr rogers it's like i think maybe we put it too much like he had a secret plan right where it's like oh he did it right he hid the vegetables in the cupcake yeah he, he was, was like being a good he, person. yeah he, he in, instead of talking about it he lived it right and lived it doesn't mean talking about it you know it's like it's really interesting lived it just means living it yeah and um like that's what he found value in and it was like because he never even said it by the way he, we know he's a minister we know all like right all the, the little things he's made some comments but it wasn't like all right, I'm talking to the adults. So what? Right. You know, what Mr. Rod, the show is about is no. promoting Christian values. Right. He never said that. No. It, it, it was. It's when they went back. It all makes sense. And examined it, how um, was it? I remember we said we he even had like a black man on at a time when yes. you know they wouldn't, and it was it was at the time it wasn't like it is today. They didn't yeah. have him microphone in his face and be like, yeah. so good yeah. move, you know. But um. Yeah, so shout out Camp No Worries. They got a great thing going on over there. Um, 25 years, I think, Camp's been running. That's good. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we were supposed to do One Word Wednesday. You were, what we did with you is better. Um, but we'll still say it's One Word Wednesday for yeah, our playlist. It's, it's One Word Wednesday. Playlist. We'll say recognition. Recognition. Because you had, you were recognized and yeah. um, with this and... Um, is there other awards? You can never be rookie again. Are you going to be able to get a, an award next time? <laughs> yeah, so technically rookie is like the biggest award. Are you serious? Um, Yeah. Now listen, I don't but, know. So sorry, just cut you no, off. No, go ahead. Like, go ahead. So then after that, because once again, like I think also part of the rookie is like they like bringing people in and like yeah. they're all like one big family, right? right? Like it's like they've known each other for so many years yeah. and it's like the rookie is like someone who walks in and does it so it's like sort of like counselor of the right. year beyond that it's not like i'm gonna win counsel like nobody even wants to once you're part of of that circle right. it's like it's and so they have like multiple they'll give out like five exemplary okay moments of counselors right. and so yeah that's a cool thing about it you're um it's like best new artist best new artist <laughs> yeah now i'm in the scene best new camper <laughs> But I mean, yeah, no big deal. First time ever at camp and just winning awards. But you know, it's probably a good thing I didn't go to camp yet when I was younger. <laughs> it wouldn't have been fair to the other kids. That's right. But guys, yeah, that's so. I mean, yeah, we had a lot to talk about because I've been gone for ten days. But um, you have. We will talk more tomorrow about other things. 
So we'll be back tomorrow. Walk through Thursday. Um, yeah. See you bright and early. Um, signing off. Bye. Peace. <laughs>